so we're going to learn how to create a seesaw activity from scratch. So we're going to go to our plus sign and we're going to click create or share activity. And we're going to choose the button that says create new activity. And give it a name. Um, I'm going to name this one Farm Story. And here's where we're going to type our instructions to our students. Now, a lot of times on Seesaw Activities, you're going to find the little icons that are there um, that show the pictures of the tools that you, the kids need to use. And the way that we write those is we have shortcuts. So if I want them to click the Add button, I'm going to type colon, add, colon, and then that's going to put the picture of the little add symbol right there. And we're going to say click the label, that's colon, label, colon, tool, and write a story with at least three sentences using the words from the box. Oops. Then we want them to click the mic to record yourself reading the story. And then we want them to click check mark and click check mark and then that's it now we can choose to add voice instructions so that our kids that might be too little to read it can listen to the voice instructions and we can even give them an example of what we want it to look like now here is where we add a template. This is where if you want your students to write on top of something inside Seesaw, you're gonna put the template there for them. So we're going to click add and you see that we can take a picture, we can make a video, we can make a drawing inside Seesaw ourselves, a link, a note where we just type something, or we can add a file. You can add the file from your computer or from Google Drive. I'm going to choose from my computer and drag the one that I just downloaded. I can see that it's sitting there and I'm going to click the check mark. And here is the template that I want the kids to write over. Okay, now we can see that the template is sitting right there and I'm going to click save. And we can look and see if our instructions line up with what we wanted them to look like. So click the add button, click the label tool and write a story with at least three sentences using the word from the box, click the microphone to record yourself reading the story, click the check mark and click the check mark. Alright, that looks pretty good.